What's up, guys? This is Nate from Famous Racing Customs. Um, just doing a quick little video. Um, I've decided right now that I'm going to take a break on the 56 Del Rey. Um, I was actually watching YouTube earlier, and uh, Dave Parker um, appreciate the comment and the shout out. Um, uh, I, I live in Illinois, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I just tried to rush it. You know, um, I was frustrated trying to get it done while I still had some good weather. But, you know, it's not something that you can rush. So, um, again, chalk it up to another mistake and another lesson learned. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'm putting that on the side. And uh, I had a second project, the uh, 77 GMC uh, Wrecker, that uh, I was slowly going to work on. But now I'm going to make that my main uh, project for now and just slowly work on the 56 Del Rey until uh, just until uh, you know uh, I'm ready ready to try to get down to to painting again um, so uh, let me show you what I got alright um, not much has changed from the last video you know everything's still fairly mocked up um, I did cut the rest of the engine out of the front um, of the cab portion because it was molded in. Um, I went ahead and left a little bit of the shroud here. Um, I will put in a radiator there. It's got one up front. I'm okay with that, you know, um, for right now. Um, I'm going to end up cutting out the cross member and the spring mounts um, along with the upper control arms. So I'll have a nice little brace there for the engine. Uh, I'm going to make some engine mo uh, motor mounts too. Um, haven't decided yet. Um, been thinking about doing, uh, maybe using this front end, but again, um, with the 56 Nomad, um, in one of the videos, I forget which update it is, um, I would mentioned I don't like the disc brakes molded in. Um, but it's still something I haven't decided. I got a couple different front ends that I can try out on this truck. So, um, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at with the suspension. Um, the motor I have here, this is the, uh, this is actually a Dodge motor. Yes, I know it's sacrilegious or whatever to, to, uh, put a Dodge motor into a uh, Chevy anything um, but it looks like a it, it looks like a pretty stout little truck motor already you know um, it's got the long um, transmission so um, you know really I don't think anybody I mean other than the people that watch this video are really gonna know that it's got a Dodge engine and you know what if they do oh well you know um, this one I, I like this engine um, I gotta go back through touch up some paint um, repaint the transmission and um, add a few pieces to it um, if not I'll be using a 265 from the Chevy Nomad so uh, but yeah that's that's about where I'm at right now um, oh, on another note, um, uh, Dr. Crinky, uh, I'm glad to hear that your mom's doing all right. Um, you know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Take care of your family. Understand about being burnt out from, from model, uh, model building. Um, you know, uh, just, uh, keep at it, brother. You know, uh. You know, may, you know, take care of your family. You know, model building is going to be here for a long time. Um, like you say, long live styrene. You know what I mean? So, uh, anyways, um, yeah, just a short little video for right now. Um, again, Dave Parker, thanks for the shout out. And uh, this is Nate from Famous Racing Customs, signing off.